Aspiring Bash Buddies can even take the fight online this time. Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode of Aspiring Bash Buddies. Buddies. And today we're going to find out what's through this pipe. We hope you all guessed about what was your guess? Uh, it's clouds. I said it was going to be Swampy Boo World. Oh. But that was just me thinking of, um, what's it? Super Mario Bros. Wii U. Uh, oh, it's yeah. Bowser the Spaceship. Oh, it's not. Yeah, it's like the middle bit before the world. Are we halfway through the game? Uh, yeah. We only just started playing. There's like six worlds. This game's really quick. Okay. There's like six worlds. And we, we skipped one of them. First. I'm pissing off. We can't. There's no way to piss off. <laughs> <laughs> right, Circus Tent. I hope there are clowns. I'd love that. A killer clown from outer space. That movie like is say. good. <laughs> I'd love it so Did much. Did you watch my video on that? Yeah. When I made balloon animals. <laughs> I loved it. I was just like, sure, why not make some balloon animals? I had a good time doing that. I, it looked like you did. Right, let's go. Whee! To space. I'm gonna throw you out. Oh my god. Whee! <laughs> well, fine. <laughs> I'm staying away from you now. It's fine, we've got a boss to fight. Who do we have to fight? Oh, Histocrat. Big worm. Big no, Histocrat. Have you seen the King's Speech? Yes. Is it any good? Yep. I'm glad we had that discussion. <laughs> Sorry, I took the camera off, but you're still right. Oh. Uh, do you like that movie? I've not seen it. What made you think of it? Is it just because this guy's wearing a crown? Yeah, he's like a king. Oh. I'm just talking about king themed movies. Uh, <laughs> what do you think of the Kingsman franchise? We were in. I, I, say we were, I was at work and I saw a box set and it was like the Royals movie collection yeah. and it was like the King's Speech, the Queen, and the Iron Lady, maybe? What? That's not even royal. Well, like it was like I don't know something like royal. That's really funny. Um, and I was just like, this is the royal cinematic universe. <laughs> They're all gonna cross over. <laughs> ah, stealing that. Do, do, do. Killed him. You did nothing. <laughs> I, the entire fight. I know. I just ran around. I didn't know what was going on. I kind of worked out what you were meant to do, but I just didn't do it. Just didn't want to do it. Ah, yeah. oh, missed. Yeet. Yeah. Oh, damn it. I can't get in the pipe there again. That's what a pipe loser would say. <laughs> I love the idea of just like cinematic universes that don't make sense. What, like the Tomb Raider one? Oh! I don't know enough about the Tomb Raider movies to. What? You can just climb on the post? Yeah, because it's a cat. Oh, fair enough. Um, did you know that the Spy Kids movies take place in the same universe as the Quentin Tarantino movie Death Proof uh, or something? I've not seen that movie and I don't believe how it would happen in the same universe. Uh, Danny Trejo, who plays the uncle in Spy Kids, yeah. is the same character in the Quentin Tarantino movie. Really? Yep. What, just like generic... A spy? No, called Machete. Oh. Why? It's just the same character. That's very It's because him and the director of Spy Kids are friends. Robert, oh, right. Robert Rodriguez. Oh, have we both been wrong? It's De desert again. What? Are you kidding me? Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> we Let's go for the six classic worlds. Grassy, desert, ice, desert. <laughs> get that water pipe. Okay. Maybe this is more mountainous than desert. It's kind of, yeah, yeah like canyony. Oh, great. That was what really was the point? That was really exciting. I'm glad we did that. Let's go kill this ant or whatever it is. Die, ant. Die, ant. Do you wood. remember the movie The Ant Bully? Oh, God, I do. <laughs> I, I never saw it. No, neither did I, but I know it exists. Do you remember the movie Ants? Yeah, yes. I also never saw that. No, I, I think it but was I on... did see The B B Bug's Life. I think it was like the same movie. Yeah. Um, I remember. I think uh, uh, Ants was on TV once. I think I, I didn't, believe that. I didn't watch it. Okay. Or I watched a bit of it. That's about as much as I can tell you about Ants. Oh. Come on, you got to do the speed run. Sorry. I forgot we were speed running. Oh, this is it. We've got to get through the game as quickly as possible. 
Do you, do you, have you ever like thought about getting into speedrun? Oh yeah, like every time I watch S uh, AGDQ, I'm like, oh, I, yeah. could, I could get into this. But it's just like I don't know what I would play. That's the thing because they're all like, once you start speedrunning a game, like you'll never play it casually again. Mm. And I'm like, oh, what game do I want to give up? But then I'm like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to start speedrunning a game that's like three hours long, even at a speed run, because yeah. like, uh, it's just it's so much to learn. Have you, have you seen like speedruns of like Donkey Kong Country? Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, wait, is that the. No, Donkey Kong 64. Yeah. Yeah, it's like takes 20 hours oh. or something. I thought I died. Like a full. Yeah, like a completionist speedrun does. It's ridiculous. I would speedrun Crash Team Racing. That's, like the story mode. That's hard though. Is it? Like, have you played Crash Team Racing? Yeah, I'm good at it. Oh, you? It's like my best. The, I, it's one the one game I would say I'm really good at. All right, that's fair. But then, like all the like the challenges and stuff on that, are, like hard as nails. Yeah, I've played through the game like ten times. Oh my god! It was. We didn't have a lot of PS One games. That's fair. <laughs> so I've played Crash Team Racing a lot. Who did you play as? I've played like I played through with, like every character. I feel like I need a cat bell. I'm just cheat it. Yeah, fair. Enough. You do that. I'm just gonna do it. Oh. Flipping flipped it. That's nice fine, but anyway. Uh, yeah, like, I don't know, I'm a Dingo Dial fan. I just think he's a weird dude. Uh, I, I, I always played as, um. Oh, sorry. Coco. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh Coco's no. got the most annoying voice. Is it, is it Coco? Or is it the. What's his sister called? His sister's called Coco. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I always played as Coco. I liked, um. Cortex, where he's like, out of my way! Yeah, Cortex has like some really good voice lines. Uh, I think Coco's are bad because she's just annoying. That's horrible. She's like, you're too slow. <laughs> Wait, that's Sonic. Yeah, that's what Sonic. You're saying Sonic's annoying? I'm saying Sonic and Coco are the same character. <laughs> They're interchangeable. Are you meant to go down here? We're gonna find out. It's a secret. Woohoo! Loads of money. How? Where's the apprentice game? I want to see like horrible wee I bet Alan there Sugar. Definitely is an apprentice. Oh, game. I, I, I'm not going to hold my breath. <gasps> <laughs> You're that confident that it's an apprentice game. I, I'm a hundred percent. I'm willing to die for an apprentice. There game. has to be an apprentice game. Right. Let While me I navigate us to the next level, I'm gonna find Google it. it out. The apprentice. Would it? Would it be a Wii game? Do you think? If it exists, it'll be on Wii. I'll just search The Apprentice game. Actually, you know what? It's b they made Doctor Who games, didn't they? Oh, there's a Doctor Who Top, Trump, Top Trumps game. Wait, what? And there's... Yeah, like, there's a whole... It was like Doctor Who... It's like Martha period. There's a Wii game that is just a Top Trumps Doctor Who game. But then... How um, do you, like, add extra stuff onto that? Because Top Trumps, that's like... There are 30 cards. I think it's just Top Trumps, but on a disc rather than like you play it physically. But also there was a Doctor Who game. Um, there, I think it was bad. It was like Doctor Who's Cybermen, the game, wasn't it? It was, um, oh, it so was a Matt Smith one, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I remember it reviewing quite poorly oh, in okay. the official Nintendo magazine. Um, so there is an Apprentice board game. Oh, what a uh, shame. Oh, there's, an, there's a point and click adventure game. <laughs> But it's just called Apprentice, <laughs> so I don't know if it's based on the show The Apprentice. Is it British Apprentice or American? No, Apprentice? it was it was like Trump Apprentice, starring the president. Yeah, that's that's hell. some like high profile collab we could get going on. Hey, Donald Trump, do you want to be on the show? Our YouTube channel. It'll really help your your presence. Yeah, you could get a lot of like get a uh, lot of new subscribers to being the president. <laughs> Please like and subscribe to my presidency. Ah! I know you got nom. Do you remember Om Nom Nom? That's like a meme existence. Yes. Do you think it was the worst thing ever? I think just the late 2000s were the worst. Oh, poo. I would say that the entire record of cinema from the 2000s... Oh, did is, I ruin it? Uh, no, I, I, I'm just rubbish. Oh, you, you don't... Oh, pooey. I'm just gonna stand here. Then you have to get the star! Oh, you're rubbish. I am bad at the game. <laughs> I admit. I would say that the, yeah, every movie that came out in the 2000s is dreadful. What? <laughs> <laughs>
I thought you were going to... Here's a controversial opinion <laughs> for you. <laughs> no, you just alienated everyone who's watching. Um, no one likes movies. That's the new rule. Do you know what? I'm not even sure I enjoy movies. No, I that's just... a lie. <laughs> They're like, like, okay, no, no, let me amend my statement. All comedy movies from oh, like the 2000s are dreadful. And have... Oh, wait, there's a secret there. I can see it. Yeah, well, I'm killing this guy. Okay. Your secret can wait. I'm going to get it anyway. That was the secret. <laughs> um, no, right. Uh, I completely agree. Like, um, oh, especially all the, like, it's scary movie. It's... Superhero movie, oh, epic there movie. There's so many of those. And they're all awful. And like, the amount of, like, just in general, the amount of Adam Sandler movies that exist. Oh my god, yeah. Like, I don't know how. Um, in like, we were at the 50p section of the DVDs earlier. Yeah. And like, all of his movies are in there. Mm. Like, I just don't get how you can build a career on just making continuously terrible movies. But I mean, somehow some he does. Some people are into it. I, yeah, but. Some people, it shouldn't be. I bet there are people who go, the new Adam Sandler movie. Yeah, and they should be put in the bin. Yeah. Because uh, they go to the cinema and they're like, Paul Blart 2? <laughs> Where do I sign? <laughs> I want to be in it. Can Paul Blart <laughs> arrest me for stealing something? I don't know what happens in Paul, Paul Blart. Paul Blart 3. I, I was going to call it with a funny title and I've got nothing. The Paul Blart 3D. <laughs> That's like a lot of <laughs> I wish they bring. I hope they bring 3D movies back, but oh. just for like comedies. <laughs> oh, can you imagine? It's like Kevin oh. James's. But that you was mind? your own fault. You jumped under where I was jumping. <laughs> Kevin James's beautiful face in 3D. Oh. I'm here as well. Oh, Too late. Stuck in the bubble. Only Peach gets to finish today. What is Paul Blart 2's subtitle? Does it even have one? They were too lazy to call the Paul Blart. I think it's just called Paul Blart. Paul Blart. Mall Cop 2. I bet there's like a really good Paul Blart based joke to make that they could have had. Paul Blart, Mall Cop. Mall Bart, Paul <laughs> Blart. What? I don't know. <laughs> what would you, what would you, what would your, what, have you seen Mall Cop? I saw it, we watched it, um, you know, when they're at like the end of um, the year at school. Yeah, yeah, go and get people, the items. Yeah. People bring like DVDs into school. Yeah. They're like, let's watch this movie. Um, you're gonna have to bleep out the name. That's fine. Say. Mama Luigi! Oh my god! <laughs> Brought in Paul Blart Mall Cop, and we had to watch it in history. There is a whole scene in that movie where you just watch him play Guitar Hero. Why? He's just in the he's just in the mall. Yeah. And the mall's closed or something, and he goes into the arcade in the mall, and he's like, I'm just gonna play Guitar Hero now. Does and you he, watch him Does he play win? It. I don't know. Well, have you watched it? I can't remember. <laughs> I can't even remember the plot of the film. He... Paul Blart? He's the mall cop. Yeah. I, we don't even have mall cops in the UK, do well, we? We have malls. Like, that is true. We've got a... We have shopping centres. And they have security in them. Yeah. That's like the closest thing you get it's to a mall like cop. It's not like a thing though, is it? No. That's like that's the thing that boggles me. Like The cultural differences between American and just British living. Yeah, we don't have a mall. Like, like we, ha- we do. But, like... It's such a different... You only go there to shop, really. Yeah, like, a mall is, like, a hangout. Mm. We um, we had a transfer student um, on our third year. Um, and she was lovely. Like, she's yeah. an amazing person. And she was, like, I'm just curious about life in America. And she'd say, like, her and her friends would, like, drive, like, two, three hours to go to the mall to, like, just hang out for the day. Because, like... I think she said she lived... I can't remember where she lived exactly. Do you want this one or this uh, one? Do this one, to be funny, because it's hard to do. Oh, good. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, yeah, she said like they drive like two or three hours like out of state to go to a mall. That's wild. It's such a like crazy concept. Like, Could you imagine oh my driving God. from like London to Sheffield <laughs> to hang out in Meadow Hall? Oh, like, I, I would not drive for three hours just because, like... I don't think I could. Like, that's a long time. Yeah, straight up. Like, that's a lot of driving. Don't lose your toads. Make sure to keep them together. Don't lose your toads. I don't know what that was. Don't you lose your toads. I lost the toads. You lost both of them? (laughs) Yep. Oh, for God's sake. (laughs) Don't you lose your toads. 
Which I wondered we what song you were doing. <laughs> Let's go this way. Wee! Over I here. I was working as a waitress in a oh, toad. No. I missed the star. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so bad at this game. What the hell? Did I save you? Maybe. When Get away, I boomerang, bro. Toad. <laughs> I'm sad that the boomerang suit isn't a power. Do you want game. that? Yeah. Uh, boomerang suit's cool. Did you play it? Um, I played the DS game. Yeah, the boomerang suit was in that. I love that. I'm sorry, I'm really bad at this. What are you doing? You've got to time it to the music, don't you? Yeah. I'm not doing that. I'm not even going to come back. Sorry, I've got the peach squad again. Oh my god. Come on. <laughs> Get in, loser. We're going shopping. Do you want my five cat peaches? No. Do you remember the cube? Oh god, yes. That was a show that I never watched. No, but I know it exists. But it's yeah. really stupid, isn't it? Um, it's like really needlessly dramatic, I'm pretty sure. It, it's like, you have seven seconds to cross this line, but you're also blindfolded. And also, there's a gun held to your grandmother's head. And if you don't do it, we'll shoot her kneecaps. And also, uh, everyone in this room will lose ten grand. So don't go wrong. That was like what happened in it. Right, okay, yeah. <laughs> And it's also narrated by Brian Blast. <laughs> <laughs> I never watched it, but I just know it was like that stupid. Let's yeah. freaking I go! I need to boot! No! <laughs> <laughs> what is, you just killed five peaches! I'm so sorry. I cannot believe it. I this. thought you were ready. I was punching them up. I'm really sorry. I've ruined the game. I'm just going now. Bye. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to get in the bubble. I deserve it. <laughs> Whoop! Whoopa! I'm just terrible. Honestly, I'm just really bad at this game. Look at that! Oh my god! Did you jump off the edge? I promise I'm not this bad at Mario <laughs> usually. No, I just walked into the. I, I'm off. Game. Bye. <laughs> I'm coming as well. Look, there's just three peaches having a good time. Ah! Oh my god! Oh, one's too far ahead. One's fallen oh! off. Ah! Toad's here as well! Oh no, one peach is dead. Well, I had three peaches. Now I have no peach. Ah. I don't even know if the original one is the one that's alive. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing, because you can kill the... Once you've got them, I think you can kill the peaches in any order. Oh my god. So it means like a clone peach can stay alive. Oh no. Help. Brother. Help Goodbye. me. <laughs> oh no. Da, 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 da. Toad, I did all the work that level. Yeah. I'm sorry, no, I actually killed you. Like that whole level times. was like the full, the the the, the moment of Mufasa getting killed by Scar <laughs> in one level. <laughs> I did all the work. I cultivated my pride, and I then am you the killed king. me at the end. I'm the king. <laughs> I'm so glad we chose to do the more difficult level. <laughs> it was fun though, wasn't it? Yeah, that was good. Oh look, we've only finished this world as well. We've almost finished the game. It's Spike! Yay, Spike level. Oh, I'll go and do that and we'll end the episode there. Okay. You ready? We're gonna go hit the jackpot. Oh yeah. If we just bounce at the same time, will we get the same thing? Yeah. So let's go. Three, two, one. Oh, you jumped on one. I thought we were going after I one. jumped after one, actually. Okay. Let's jump on one then. Okay. Three, two, one. That's, hey. that's like, fine. Nailed it. I didn't, but I'm dancing around anyway. It's okay. Whee! Well, after not winning the jackpot, we now have to end the episode. We actually have to end our life. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> it's just like the cube. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all very much for watching. I don't know why I do it so fast. It's like I just got to put power into it. Um, yeah, I don't know. It like, gives you a boost of like, energy to do it. Thank you all for watching, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed our rambling about the cube and whatever <laughs> else we talked about. I don't really remember. No. <laughs> um, and we'll find out what's in this pipe next time. Goodbye. Bye-bye.